Well, City have been one of the championship's success stories. Sixth in the table after winning four of the last six. And with boss Leroy Rosinia set to extend his deal, it's a good time to be a Tigers fan. Visitors Watford have picked things up of late as well. They remain in the bottom half, but four wins in seven has reignited hopes of a playoff charge. They tend to struggle on the road, though, with one away win all season. Both sides had good wins in midweek, colour unchanged from the 4-1 win over Rotherham here, whilst the Hornets also named the same side and came from two goals down to beat Norwich. Hull have had a good time against Watford of late, they've not conceded in three league meetings. Six points separating the sides, sixth against 13th at the start of play today. And uh, Watford certainly upwardly mobile under Valerian Ismael. And they've started the better here. And that's an important uh, intervention. And, uh, Kone, and now Semmer. That's a lovely ball, nice fluid Watford move this. And the chance for the opening goal for Kayembe, and it's taken. What a start for the Hornets in East Yorkshire. Edo Kayembe after only eight minutes. And just a second league goal for the club. Watford off and running. And it was a lovely move down the left-hand side and on the balance of play, Watford deservedly in front. It's been a strong start from Ishmael's men. Lovely cut back from Lewis. And fired into the middle of the goal from Kayembe. Watford's had failed to score in five of their previous eight away league games this season. But they're off and running here. It hasn't taken them long. It's Hull City nil. Watford won. And Hull been superb on home turf this season, just one defeat, Southampton the only side to win here. Oh, that space for Liam Delap to have a surge, and Delap on loan from Manchester City, he's done really well, important challenge, but it's fired home, and it's Scott Twine, and it's taken Hull only two minutes to respond. Well, Liam Rosinia will be absolutely delighted by that response. What a start to this game in the championship. And uh, Liam Delap, that was all his making really. Charged into the penalty area, upended. But there was Scott Twine for his second goal in only two league games. Hull City, two minutes after falling behind, are level. Hull City won, Watford won. It's been a threat throughout. That was uh, Kona losing the ball. Uh, clipped out by Jones and well, uh, purring with confidence now. And uh, Delap has had a really strong start. Burley centre forward. He's got a lovely gallop about him as well, Delap. That's well hit and it's tipped over. The inform, Jaden Philogene. Scored twice here against Rotherham in midweek. Almost at it again. Lovely awareness from Delap to play him in. And to play it back to him. And to Ben Hamer equal to it. Lovely drag back. Decent effort as well. Oh, good game of football this. And here's uh, Semmer for Watford. He scored on the road prior to today, but uh, looked very, very confident on the ball this afternoon, the Hornets. Kone has been heavily involved. There's the overlap. Kone goes himself. It needed to be saved. Ryan Alsop was at it. It's, it's been a super game of football, this. Watford unlucky. Terrific first half. What will we get in the second between two informed sides? Watford one defeat in eight. Hull oh, one defeat in six. Oh, lovely ball from Seri. And Philogene's in behind here. And it's wide. Great cover from uh, 
big Wesley Hoots. Who got across superbly there. That's uh, Philogene. In banging form, denied by the cover defence from the Dutchman. What a super game he's had, what a talent he is. He's being tugged back as well, he's still going. Oh, he had Scott Twine in the area, couldn't quite deliver the cross, but he was under severe pressure. But uh, he has been absolutely brilliant. Five league goals this season, Liam Delap. Good defending, though. Jamal Lewis forcing the corner. And there's the corner kick. About to be whipped in. Oh, now then, is that a penalty? It looked it, and it is. I don't think Jake Livermore can have too many complaints about that. Upending Jacob Greaves in the box. And I think penalty was the only outcome here. No real arguments. Greaves was clipped. Well, originally didn't make much of that corner, but uh, Livermore, that is careless. Now, you would expect him to score. He's got six in seven league games, Jaden Philogene. What an opportunity for Hull on the hour mark. The player you want to take a penalty. Oh, it's brilliantly saved. Take a bow, Ben Hamer. Outstanding goalkeeping. It's not the worst penalty in the world either. But that's brilliant from Hamer. Philogene denied. Penalty shirt save, uh, rather a real shot in the arm for Watford. They've been terrific of late. 5 0 win over Rotherham, 3 2 win over Norwich. And that's dispossessed. He's gone for it, Hoot, and he scored. That is absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe that from a centre back from all of 40 50 yards. And Wesley Hoot has just scored the goal of his life. He's dispossessed Liam Delap, who was having a fine game up until that point. But that is truly genius. It doesn't get much better from Wesley Hoot. Second league goal this season. And it's one of the best you'll see all season. And it gives Watford the lead. What does he do from here? His side haven't been bad. But uh, behind to an absolute worldie of a strike. From the Watford centre-half, Wes Hoot. How do Hull City respond? Can the Tigers find their roar? Hit from distance and the acrobatics once again from Ben Hamer. That's a decent hit as well. Good goalkeeping once again. And the hole heading to just a second home defeat of the season. Preston, Huddersfield and Rotherham have all been beaten in the last three home league games here. And here's uh, Philogene trying to make something happen. He almost made it happen. So unlucky. Hasn't let his head drop after missing that earlier penalty. This is fabulous from Philogene. It deserved to go in. So, so close to a seventh league goal this season. It is a massive away result for Watford. Just a second win in 18 away league games for the visitors. And it's all thanks to a moment of genius from that man, Wesley Hoot. Absolutely outstanding from about 45 yards. And it proved to be the winner. Hull City can't believe they've lost this game. They got themselves level through Scott Twine after only 10 minutes, but it wasn't to be. They missed a penalty in the second half through Jaden Philogene. Their three game winning run at home comes to an end. Full time, Hull City won. Watford 2.